Hi everyone, in this video we will review how to protect your newly connected AWS instance using Microsoft Cloud App Security. First of all, by simply connecting AWS to Microsoft Cloud App Security, like we showed in our previous video, you're already gaining some level of protection. A number of built-in threat and anomaly detection policies are already applying without any additional action. For example, activity from anonymous IP address, impossible travel, multiple fail logon attempts, and some are specifically targeted to IS solutions like AWS or Azure. For example, the multiple delete VM activities will trigger if we have the suspicion that an attacker may be maliciously deleting a number of VMs in your environment. Of course, you can go much further than all these built-in policies and you can create your own. To help you in this task, we have created a number of policy templates specifically targeting AWS. You can find them in the templates page under control and by making a search for AWS. You can see the full list here and we will detail a few of them. For example, let's review IM policy change. And let's click on the plus to create a policy based on this template. Here we can see that this policy will trigger if there are a number of changes made to the IM policy. The goal here is to detect any change in your configuration that may be either accidental or malicious, but that could impact the security of your environment. And simply click create to actually create the policy. Let's review a couple more templates as examples again. With the same goal of ensuring that your configuration stays as secure as you configured it, we can also enable a policy that will track cloud trail changes. Again, you can customize this policy as you please, change the threshold and the activities that are targeted. Let's review one more template here with a slightly different goal. We've seen in our previous templates that we were trying to protect your configuration. Here we will try to protect your data. To do that, we have this template called publicly accessible S3 buckets. If you have seen the news, you know that unfortunately, publicly accessible S3 buckets have caused a large number of data leakage. And for that, we have this very simple template that you can enable. If you'd like, you can also use one of our governance actions to automatically make the public bucket private. Or you can simply create a policy that will audit publicly accessible buckets. Now let's wait a few minutes and see if any of the policies we just created trigger an alert. And sure enough, we have found two matches for publicly accessible S3 buckets policy. Let's click and see which one they are. So here we have a list for the policy matches. First of all, you can see that on the right side, under the three dots, you can decide that immediately you want to make any of those buckets private and remediate the issue immediately. If you want more details, you can also click on the bucket and you will have the direct path and any information such as the owner or which collaborators have access to it. In our case, obviously public. Of course, these are only a few examples on what can be done. The list of activities that are gathered by AMCAS for AWS is very wide, and you can decide to create your own customized policies. 